Hi everybody, welcome back to my Daisy 2024 Beginner's Guide to Modding Community Servers on Console, but all of this applies, or most of it applies to PC as well. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to spawn in your vehicles on the server, so they've got all the bits on them. Um, uh, before we get started though, I just want to remind everybody that if you check the link in the description below this video, you'll see the link to this playlist, which has all of these updated for 2024 uh, server modding videos and um, which you may found useful and there will also be a previous video and a next video link as well so that if you want to kind of work through them in kind of a logical order um, you can do that so let's get stuck in you want to go over to Nichardo and log in and you want to go onto the web interface for your server which will get you to the dashboard then you want to go to the file browser so click on that and that will get you to the file browser and then we want to go into the missions folder so xp missions or ps missions or missions into there and then we want to go into channels for channels server enoch for livonia server and i don't know later on in the year we're going to be getting the new frost line map aren't we so whatever that is called um and then we want to go into the db no that no we don't then we want to download the cfg spawnable types um uh, file which is this one here C no it's not CFG spawnable types which is that one there CFG spawnable types so we're going to download this and then what we're going to do is we're going to take it from our downloads folder so let's copy that and what you want to do is just prepare another folder on your computer somewhere I've prepared one here that says vehicles I'm just going to spawn it in uh, paste it in here and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it so we've got a backup and then we're just going to left click on this and change it back so its name is just cfg spawnable types yours might just say that anyway and then we're going to open this up in notepad plus plus there we go the um, most excellent free text editor that takes you one step further than notepad well many steps actually because it's color coded just makes seeing errors easier and just understanding the code a little bit easier then we're going to scroll right down to the bottom where we start the vehicles here we go so here we go here we go here we go so here we go vehicles so this is where they start and so the cfg spawnable types the xml file what this does is it tells the server when you spawn in an off-road hatchback and it'll spawn in spawn it in as part of a vehicle event spawn it in with these items or more accurately with the percentage chance of having these items. So let's take the off-road hatchback um, as an example. So what it says is, um, for the hatchback wheel, so one of the wheels, there's attachment chance is 100%. However, the chance of actually getting that particular attachment itself is only 80%. So on each wheel of one of the hatchbacks, including the spare wheel that's in the back, you have an 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, and then 40% for the spare wheel chance of it being there. So, all we need to do, if we want all of the wheels to appear on our um, cars, we just change those to one. But what we could do, if we were a little bit clever, what we could do is we could do something a little bit uh, faster than this, can't we? We could, we could do it another way, so we could just copy that and we could do a control F to find it, click on replace, paste that in there, paste that in there, and change that to 1.00. And so what this is going to do is anything that says hatchback wheel, if we say replace all, it change them all to 1.0. And then we've got this, the spare wheel, we can change that to 1.00. Oh, oh. There we go. So now what we've got is we've got all of these here. So we've got these radiators. Um, so there's a 60% chance a car will spawn with a radiator. So we can change that to 1.00. A battery, 60% chance. So let's change that to 100%. And the spark plug, change that to 100%. The headlights, we can change those to 100%. And we could change that headlight to 100% and then we've got the uh, driver's door uh, there's only a 30% chance so change that to 1.00 so 100% like that and then we've got the hood let's change that to 
100%, and let's change the trunk to 100%. Now, so what will happen is, when one of these vehicle off-road hatchback spawns in as part of an event, it will spawn in with all these bits on them. It won't have any water in the radiator, and it won't have any fuel in, so you'll still have to find that. But by doing this simple change, we've made the lives of our survivors much, much, much easier, because that's all they'll have to find. So, what we can do now is, we would go through and we could change all of the rest of them as well. However, what you might want to do is, to make things a little bit faster, let me show you a little trick you could do. So, if we look for chance equals 40, and we copy that, okay, and we go into um, find and replace, and we paste that in there. And then we paste that in replace with, we can do a control V to paste it and change that to 1.00. What we could do is if we click on, uh, da, 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 where is it, in selection, what we can do is if we just select all of the cars, because we just have to be a little bit careful that we don't select anything that we don't want. Um, to change so we're gonna we're just gonna select all of these like that then we come back to here and we say in, in selection replace all there we go so that's replaced all of those now what we could do now as well is looking down we could say there's 60 percent chances so we could say okay change the 60 percent chances to one and again we've still got the vehicle selected so we could say replace all and we could uh, keep scrolling down so there's a 30 percent chance there so let's let it find the 30% chance ones, replace all. There's the 20% chance ones, so let's replace all. Let's scroll down and see if we've got all of them. Right, there's 80%, so we want to change that to 0.8, replace all. And oh, all right, there we've got 50%. So replace all. Let's see if that's all of them. And by making sure it's in selection, that's the trick you see. It means we're not changing anything above this, like something that's included in something else that maybe we don't want to change. There we go. So I'm pretty sure they're all 1.00s now. Oh, no, there was a 0.25 there, wasn't there? Truck battery. So let's. Two five replace all. Otherwise, I'd have had some trucks without batteries. Keep going, keep going. I think we've got them all now. Everything's one point zero. Oh, there's a ten percent there. So let's change these. So keep going, almost at the end now. As we go along, everything's 100. Anything left? There we go. So everything's at 100%. So these vehicles are going to spawn in and the trucks with everything on them. So that, that's really cool, isn't it? So what we need to do now is we need to make sure we save that. Then we need to go to our ever-present XML validator. Uh, click on XML validation. Ch choose the file, which is in Daisy Modding, Test Files for Video, uh, Vehicles, CFG Smaller Types. Open that up, validate it. No errors were found. Fantastic. Then we just need to go back to our server where the original CFG spawn of types was. Upload file, click on that one, open it up, wait for it to upload, dunk, and then restart the server. And there we go. So we've now got vehicles spawning in with all the bits on them. Now you may well want to take this one step further by having vehicles spawn in, not only complete, 
but also with stuff in the boot, say maybe some fuel, maybe some guns, maybe the trucks want to have some building supplies in. And for that, what I've got for you are my boosted loot server files. And I've talked about these in a few of my tutorial videos. Um, and if you want a boosted loot experience for Chernerus or Livonia, and I'll do them for the new map when they come out as well, I highly recommend these for beginners because all you have to do is go to your server and upload these files here over the top of the existing ones and then restart your server. That's it. It's so easy. So you click on code, click on download zip, extract that on your local PC, go to the file browser and then where you know you basically go into the DB folder, you replace the events, globals, messages and types and then you know you go up one uh, by clicking there and in this one you upload the um, CFG event form, CFG gameplay.json, CFG spawnable types. Make sure the CFG spawnable types.xml is activated in your settings on your server. It's the one that's down the bottom in the settings. And then restart your server and you will have full vehicles. You'll have more vehicles. The vehicles will have guns in the back. The trucks will have building stuff in the back. There's a party truck. There's a trader truck. Um, there's more loot anyway. There's pristine loot. Um, there's more NBC. There's loads of really good stuff that make your server easier and more fun to play on, especially if people are new or if people haven't got enough time to spend all that time um, hunting around in order to find stuff. So highly recommend that, you know, if sometimes you look at some of these tutorial videos that I do and think, you know, that's great, but I haven't really got enough time to learn all this stuff. These preset ones that I do, and other people do them as well, have a go with them, see what you think. Now remember, these changes that we've made to our server by uploading the these change files or by uploading the edited file that we just did, the CFG spawn all types, they take a while to come into effect because all those cars that were already on your server are just going to sit there and slowly be replaced by the new ones that have all the bits on them. So don't despair if when you're exploring your server you come across vehicles that aren't complete. In fact, the way that the central loot economy works on your server is that loot is only churning through and being replaced when people are on the server. So if people aren't on the server, nothing's happened. So people have got to be on the server for things for things to happen that way. If you watch my, one of my earlier videos, I show you um, how to how to do that and how to make sure that the server doesn't go to sleep straight away when people leave. But there we go. That is how you spawn in vehicles that are complete. And that is also how you can get files that have not only complete vehicles, but more vehicles and vehicles that have got stuff in them too. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you have it, like, if you want to see more, the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.